Hello, my name is Polly and I am the illustrator of the book The Hut. Okay, I am going to draw Hedgehog. These are the pens that I use. Um, I sometimes like to use the pens when they're slightly running out because you get a lovely sort of smooth jaggedy line but that's just a matter of luck really. So we start with a long hedgehoggy nose. I always think that my hedgehog looks a little bit like the shape of a jug. Can you see? Imagine a jug handle there. So that's the shape I start with and then usually I start with what I think is the most important bit and that's the facial expression and in this case it's just a, a simple eye and there's his ear. I've put his ear sort of sloping downwards a bit and I think that makes him a little bit sad maybe a little bit vulnerable. If his ears were sort of perking right up I think he'd look happy. Okay so here we are he's just waving with his paw maybe he's seen someone that he would like to give a hug to but he's a bit he's a bit shy he doesn't want to run up to them and give them a hug because he's not allowed to do that at the moment here are his feet when I'm drawing I often have a nice white background so that you can really focus on the character so I give them a little bit of black line underneath just to look like they're grounded so they don't look like they're floating away there's a couple of dots there to make him look a bit more whiskery. Now, what do all hedgehogs need? Spikes, I think. So I'll put this pen away for a minute. Always put the lid back on, very important. And then I use this pen, which is a brush pen, and you put an ink cartridge in. And this gives me a lovely spiky effect. You see? like that. You have to do them quite quickly so you get a nice sort of smooth line. If you do them slow they start to get a bit wobbly. There we go, he's beginning to look like a hedgehog isn't he? And then as we go further out the spikes, the spikes get smaller and it gives him a sort of rounded look doesn't it? It almost looks like a dandelion clock doesn't he? You could blow him and all his spikes would blow away. There we go, all the way round. Smaller and smaller as they get out, go outwards. And, and then he has that sort of nice round body shape. There we go, that looks like our hedgehog doesn't it? And he looks like he, he wants to say hello to someone, probably wants a hug is a bit too shy so maybe just a wave for today. Now I think I'll draw a tortoise for him to wave at. Okay now it's time to draw a tortoise waving back. So here we go. I start off with his the shape of it, his head. Again the most important bit and I think he's looking quite hopeful isn't he? So maybe he's just seen Hedgehog and he's giving him a very tentative wave. He's got short stubby arms. There we go. And then a lovely round tummy in the similar way that Hedgehog has a round tummy and little stubby legs. There we go. It's always good to remember the shape of your character so you don't sort of get in a muddle when you start to draw. So he has a very round shell and ground him again with a few lines. So there's, there's Hedgehog. I mean, that's not Hedgehog, there's Tortoise. And I don't use the brush pen on Tortoise. I use a thinner nib. So this one's 1 1.2 and this one's 0 0.5. And I can do the detail. So a few lines here, make him look like he's stretched his neck out eyebrow makes him look a, a little bit hopeful maybe a little bit anxious and then the pattern on his shell it's always nice to give your character a kind of 
pattern of their own that sets them aside from all the other tortoises you might see in the world or in books. So you know, ah, oh, that's the tortoise from the hug book. There we go. So that's this pattern. And maybe give him a belly button. There we go. I think he's finished. And let me see. Oh, there they are. Two friends waving at each other. I really, really want to give each other a hug. But for now, just a wave will do.